Hello my buddies, welcome to Capture Hood Recaps. Please like and subscribe to our channel for more interesting recaps. Let's dive into world of entertainment. Just imagine, a volcano suddenly erupts in the middle of your city. The story begins in the city of Los Angeles where everyone was preparing to go to work in the morning as usual. Then we see a man named Mike, who was the director of the city's emergency management. He was preparing breakfast for himself and his daughter Kelly, after which both of them were going to go somewhere far away. But suddenly there was a strong earthquake in the city. On hearing this news, Mike decided to go to work instead of going out. When he reached the office, his partner Emmett said that there was not much damage. If he wanted, he could go on a holiday with his daughter. But Mike saw that the water pipes had burst in many places in the city, while the work of laying the train line under the ground in the park was going on. Then suddenly there was a loud sound and he saw that through a tunnel a strange yellow gas was coming out. They immediately pulled a man out of the tunnel and saw that more than half of his body was burnt. Soon Mike also reached there. It was found that many people were burnt in the same way. Everyone thought that it was due to gas. But Mike knew that there was something else wrong. Then he advised to stop the work of laying the train line for now. But according to the chairman of the place over, there may be a little harm from the train, so he continued the work. Which did not mean it was due to gas, after some time Emmett came to the park and asked Mike to walk back. But Mike and his partner Gator secretly entered the Shures and started investigating the matter, after walking for some time they realized that. The air was heating up rapidly, due to which it was difficult for them to breathe. Then Gator saw that some rats were burnt on the ground and slowly even their gloves started melting. At that moment terrible gases started coming out of a hole and both of them immediately ran out and came out. Then Mike told Emmett to close the park. While Labar named Amy I called a geologist who said that the land of the city is not that strong so they should not make tunnels under the ground. Then he came to the park with Mike and tested with the help of some machines and what came out was very dangerous. That a volcano filled with lava is growing very fast under the ground. But there was no evidence of this, so Mike did not believe it. Well, in the evening, when he and his partner Rachel went to the tunnel and investigated, they saw that there were cracks on the ground and now dangerous gases were coming out from there. Then they tried to solve this mystery by investigating further. On the quay, there was a sudden earthquake again. This time, the power of the whole city went out. Mike immediately moved towards a safe place with his daughter Kelly. While a train driver tried to stop the train, but the train went straight and collided with the debris on the other side. When Amy and Rachel were in the tunnel, the ground cracked due to the earthquake and Rachel fell down. Amy tried very hard to save her, but the tunnel was heating up rapidly. Suddenly the very hot air wrapped Rachel and she scorched there. This scared Amy very badly and when she came out, she saw that the water of the fountain was boiling slowly and the city power came back in some buildings. Suddenly very hot steam started coming out of every street pig. Smoke started all around and stones started falling. There was a huge wall of smoke in front of Mike's eyes and in a few moments lava instead of stones. Bombs started raining. There were loud explosions all around and many houses were burnt to ashes. On the other hand, when Labar got news of the train accident in the railway office, he decided to send a team to save the people. The driver of the train tried to remove people from the train but the doors were jammed. While Dr. Cald was also stuck in traffic when a lava bomb in front of his eyes while Mike was helping people on the streets, some people took advantage of the opportunity and started fleeing by stealing. On the other hand, Amy also saw the devastation all around. Mike was very upset while trying to reach the office that he saw that Cuddler was saving the life of an injured person on the road. Mike immediately went to him and helped the people of the fire truck. But at that moment the earth started shaking once again strongly and then Mike saw Amy's talk coming true in front of his eyes. Incandescent lava erupted from the gutters and a fierce fire broke out all around. Soon the heat of the lava scorched the cars and poor Callie screamed and called Mike for help. But then a lava bomb fell near him and his pants caught fire suddenly. Mike's eyes fell on him and he extinguished the fire by running. Now they were surrounded by lava from all sides. So Mike climbed on the car and jumped out and on that lava consumed his car. Now the lava was rapidly moving towards the fire truck. A man tried to save his partner, but soon the lava came out of both of them. After this, there were tremendous explosions one after the other and Mike immediately sent Callie to the hospital with called. 
Callie asked Mike to accompany him too, but Mike could not think only about his family at this time. Soon news came that lava was moving rapidly and spreading throughout the city, and now many people were fleeing their homes. In a few moments, Amy also came to help the common people with Mike and other security personnel. Then they all pushed a bus and parked it in front of lava so that the lava would stop there. They ran to save an unconscious man lying in front of them, but then a burning tree fell in front of them. As soon as the firefighters lowered their ladder, Mike and Amy climbed the man on the ladder and hung themselves on the shore. Now the ladder turned around and crossed them with lava. The man's leg caught fire and the three of them quickly started extinguishing it. Then suddenly the ladder broke, but they all jumped at the last time and saved their lives. Now Amy said that they should leave the city like this and save the people, but Mike could not let the city of Los Angeles be ruined soon. The police, firefighters, and many common people took tools to turn the lava and send it away from the city. During this time, the lava had also reached the train tracks where all be. Reached to save the people trapped in the train with his team, till now all the people had fainted, but he. As soon as everyone was taken out, soon the lava came very close and all saw that the driver of the train was missing. All immediately found him and picked him up and walked outside. Due to the lava coming in, his shoes started melting. Labar was very sorry for his negligence, so after getting out of the train, he threw the driver towards his team and scorched himself there. On the other hand, Amy took a basketball from the shop and placed it on the ground. Seeing the ball itself, the lava itself was moving towards the gas station in this direction. Everyone together stopped the lava by placing cars and other things on the way. But it was nothing in front of the volcanic fire. Well then some emergency trucks came there, with the help of which Mike and Amy together planned to make a pit by putting Barry Gads in one place so that lava would fall directly into it and then it would be calmed down by throwing water from the helicopter, after which whatever goods came in the hands of the people, they took it to the place decided arrived and started barricade work, while the lives of people as well as animals were being. Saved in the medical tents, Calder applied medicine to the wounds of the young children and asked Kelly to take care of them. Here on the streets Barry Gad. And then the firefighters started a strong water cannon from the truck. Soon the helicopters also started raining water and finally the lava hardened and stopped there. Seeing that everyone started dancing happily seeing that finally their hard work was successful. But Amy was still afraid. So she went down the tunnel to check with the help of a machine that she found that lava was still under the ground he called Mike and told that he did not stop the lava but pushed it in another direction. And now the explosion that is going to happen is probably more dangerous than Hiroshima's atom bomb. Moving towards the end of the tracks, and according to this, the next explosion will be where all the medical tents were installed. Now Mike also immediately reached the end of the railway tracks. He sent a camera to the tunnel with Amy, but the flame of the flaming lava came out of everything in an instant. Mike immediately saved Amy from the flames by pushing her away when he saw the speed of lava. They realized that this volcano is going to erupt in 30 minutes. Mike immediately called Emmett and asked him to evacuate the medical tents as soon as possible. Then Mike and Amy started thinking about how they should deal with this problem. Then Mike's eyes fell on a building and he thought of an idea. He said that he should make pits by blasting different places on the streets with the help of which he can divert lava directly towards the Pacific Ocean. To prevent lava from entering the city, he decided to demolish this 22-story building which would divert the lava towards the sea. Then Mike asked Amy when Amy reached the tents. She saw that Kelly was not there because she had lost a child and went to find him. On the other hand, Mike's team was working in full swing, Gator and his men started planting bombs in the building, but then there was a strong earthquake again, the volcano erupted prematurely and caused havoc all around. Everyone started running around in panic and some patients even caught fire. There was a man trapped under the rubble in the building and the getter even after all the efforts, he could not get out. The lava was moving very fast towards them and then Gator decided to sacrifice his life by bombing instead of leaving the mission. Soon one bomb after another started exploding but then Mike saw. That Kelly and a child were standing in the direction of the explosions, Mike ran fast and pushed Kelly and the child and then the whole building was destroyed and collapsed. Fortunately their plan was successful and a tunnel was formed in the ground through which the lava fell directly into the sea. The hand went out and then Mike came out alive with Kelly and the child. The child saw that all the people filled with ashes looked exactly the same. 
But then the rain came and washed away all the ashes, followed by Amy. Told Mike that if she were the leader of this mission, she would probably sacrifice more than half the city. But today Mike taught her that one should never give up. Then Emmett came there and told Mike about another emergency. But now Mike said that I am going to take care of myself for years to celebrate the holiday with my daughter. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to our channel for more interesting recaps.